Hello and welcome back to the Gfinity Arena in London. It's final time. We've had a long day, an exciting day of FIFA. Yeah. Loads of twists, loads of turns. We now are finalists. We've got a Spanish man called Fur Perry and we've got an Englishman or a Britishman called Spencer. Yeah. Uh, Britishman, I don't think that's a thing, is it? It's a yeah, an Englishman. <laughs> we'll go with Englishman. Yeah. Um, we'll quickly talk about pre-match predictions. Yeah, I mean, you, um, you thought Spencer was going to win from the start. Yeah, I predicted Spencer from the start, so obviously I'm going to stick with that. I've been really impressed with the way for Perry's um, been playing, especially the carry today he's shown in that last game against Sean to come back from three goals there into a um, both to win. So yeah, he's shown some great character. And make no mistake about it, people, a lot of people will probably think that Spencer's just going to walk that final. That is not going to be the case at all. Well, if we're going to use a little bit of pre-match context here, we both covered the uh, the Spring Masters together. I mean, this, this was the same final. Yeah. And uh, they both came into an impressive, similarly impressive form. We didn't know who to call it with. And actually, Spencer came out and really dominated the game and won it. But we can't stress enough, this is a different game mode, guys. Yeah. It's the ultimate team. And Fair Perry has not lost today. Spencer has. Spencer's yeah. lost in his group. So we don't actually know. It really, really is hard to tell who's going to do this. That's why you've got to, you know, I don't, I think you've you got to follow your heart in terms of predictions because there's no other way of doing it. Yeah. They both play attacking football. Um, yeah. You know, you've got, you've got, some of you would say that maybe Fair Perry deserves it after losing in the final before, wants a chance to yeah. do that. But then Spencer's such a fresh face on the scene. It's only a second live event and he's won his first one. If he wins the second, two in two, uh, that, that's pretty unbelievable from the youngster. Yeah, it is. I feel like I must add as well. Um, yes, Spencer has lost today. And interestingly enough, it was Perry that beat Spencer today in the group stages. That's so. such a good point. Yeah. That's such a good point. And we can actually look at Fair Perry's uh, route to the final now with his results, including, uh, including that... That those matches, and you can see, see. Yeah. so he beat Bruce Granick, no, no mean feat, you know, one of the most successful players of FIFA in the history of, of competitive FIFA. He then he beat Spencer 2 1, a tight game, very tight game, but he did win, so he has got the upper hand right now in today's on today's form. Then he went and beat Vinch 3 1, and then he went and beat Huge Dragon 5 4. Now, no huge margins of victory. One thing yeah. Spencer has had is huge margins of victory. Yeah. If, we, if we have a look at Spencer's route to the final now, we can see the contrast there in a Fair Perry's. Now, a 2-1 victory, a 2-1 loss, sorry, yeah. to Fair Perry in his first game, but then beating Bruce Granick 3-1. Yeah. Okay, so knocking Bruce out of that group. Look at that quarterfinal result. 10-4. Yeah. Now, conceding four goals, that's more than Fair Perry's conceded. Yeah. But no one has come close to 10 goals. Yeah, I mean, both of them, again, this... Perry, he really is a complete player. Um, we say he's, he's more attacking based, but if you look at his, his group games, he's, um, un until he played his semi-final against uh, Sean Allen, he'd only conceded one in each of those games. And that was, um, against Sean, he conceded four, but it just shows he, he has actually got a good defence, whereas um, Spencer, he leaks goals here and there. So uh, this is going to be a really interesting game. I mean, what I, what I love about Spencer's kind of trajectory is that he times his peak so well, like an Olympic athlete. Yeah. He knows when to come into his own. I mean, you don't have to look at his results to see that he kind of just, I wouldn't say he, he, uh, he kind of drifts through the group games, but when it comes to knockouts, he starts scoring crazy amounts of goals. I mean, considering this should be the more competitive game against a better opponent, because yeah. these guys have got out of their group. And Spencer didn't even get, win his group. Yeah, he just I know. Straight through. He goes and scores 10, followed by five. 15 goals in two games, seven and a half average goals per game. Uh, unbelievable. And the first leg of the final is underway, guys. And this is it. There is no time for second guessing. You've got to deliver on the big stage. You've got to back yourself. And uh, I mean, I can't pick a winner. These two, both worthy winners. But it's going to come down to the day on who plays better. Yaya Torre, can we get an early goal? The rebound! Oh, it is as well. Berkey. It's an early goal for Berry. For Berry? For Perry. Gets the goal with Di Maria. Um, but listen, as much as that's a big deal, Spencer's gone down and come back almost yeah. every time. Yeah, he's, he's yeah. as you said yesterday, he's a comeback kid. Yeah. <laughs> As you said, throughout the tournament, he's, uh, he's just got better and better as the rounds have gone on. Obviously, his first game of the day, he lost to Fur Perry. And then since then, he's just got better and better and better. And he's matched him again in the final. But uh, Such an early goal yeah. for Fur Perry there. It's always important, but as we've seen, uh, Spencer, he, he, I'm not going to say he struggles in the first half, but he doesn't uh, do his best. And at half-time, he does get um, sub for Ronaldo one, and that is part of the rules. I can't make any subs before half-time. Yeah. So, yeah, he waits for half-time. He brings on Ronaldo, and he brings on Robin, I think, which is um, which is why he's so strong in that second half. And that is probably why uh, Fair Perry has only got the 96 chemistry, so he can start with those sort of players on. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, he so wants to get the goals rather than come yeah. late. But the thing yeah. is, though, that... 
I mean, as much as you can say, oh, yeah, Spencer Peets in the second half because he brings those guys on, but that's the same for everyone. Everyone yeah. can do that, and yeah. everyone has. We've seen lots of people bring Ronaldo and Robin and the like on. Um, you know, strategy-wise, you could argue that Spencer... You know, some people have started with a weaker team chemistry-wise to get those goals. I mean, we saw the, the Ronaldo-Messi partnership up front yeah. you know, that did so well for one of our players today. And, um, you know, that's, that's an option you can go with. I mean, we've got a bit of a Ronaldo injury issue, which is not what you want to see for Fed Perry. No, definitely uh, again, not. Again, the disadvantage of starting him. Yeah, um, he's going to have to sort that later after this game. But, yeah, he's definitely not going to want to see that on his best player. He should recover from it in-game, though. It shouldn't be uh, something that affects him Ooh. for the match, should it? Yeah, um, not really. It shouldn't have a big impact on him in the game. He should just run that one off. But, yeah, uh, yeah. he's still not nice to see. He's always a worry, especially on a player like Ronaldo, an ultimate team. He he hasn't, yeah, he hasn't gone. got the injury sign next to him, so. So we've got Spencer playing in this purple kit. Uh, Willian on the ball for a huge gorilla. Side to Di Maria. Ramirez spreads the ball and gets into the left back. Van Aanholt, yes we are. Van Aanholt's going to hold on to it for a little bit, play the ball down the line to Schurler. Schurler, what can he do? He's going to cut inside. Ball, oh. stays goal. No, save. No, another save. Oh, it's, it's gone it, wide. It's gone out. It's gone yeah. wide. I don't know why we moved away from that because I didn't see what yeah. happened. But um, yeah, it is one nil still. Don't worry, there was no goal. What, what a chance uh, to get back into it. Ramirez, oh one. my gosh. What a keeper. His keeper, I don't know what he's had to drink before the game. I think he's had a, 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 a vitamin water or something, yeah. but it's worked. I'll tell you what, Fair Perry's goalkeeper, Courtois, has been player of the tournament so far. Some of the saves that that guy's been making uh, that I can remember in this tournament have been absolutely incredible. Definitely goalkeeper of the tournament. Not just Fair Perry that's been using him. We've seen lots of people use him to great effect. Yeah, I think he might even be player of the tournament, but... Um, him, so he's going to come again now, looking for Sturridge, but no one... He's made it, he's made it. Yeah. Daniel Sturridge using that pace there. He's only really got Di Maria in the box, so he doesn't really want to cross well. to him. Yeah. He's going to create something out of nothing. Di Maria, oh, it's a good tackle. Yeah, very really good, good tackle. tackle. This game's got my heart racing, I'm not going to lie to you. They are very good players, and uh, you know, I think Fred Perry might have that little bit more motivation than Spencer, obviously, because he lost to him in the final of the last Masters. He's like, right, I'm not going to let that one happen again. Defeat is such a good motivator. It would be a much better motivator than victory. Yeah, it is, definitely. When, like, when you, um, I mean, how do you improve on um, victory? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I mean, I mean that, you'd like to think that Spencer hasn't got to that point yet. He's won one of yeah, them. Yeah, I know, yeah. won it, which is great, but he's got a whole career, effectively, ahead of him. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah. A lot of potential. A lot of potential. Yeah, he's uh, still only young. Uh, very young. 18 years old, isn't he? Yeah. Although, um, I said he was 16 last time and it kind of stuck amongst the community and they have a little joke with him about that, but yeah, he's 18. Okay, we can clarify. Yeah. Daniel Sturridge to Yaya Torre. Ronaldo, Sturridge, holding it up, looking for the ball for Ronaldo. I don't think it's going to no. make that. No. De Gea, uh, I, I like this. We've got another De Gea versus Courtois contrast here. Who would you have an ultimate team? I mean, personally, I'm, I've, I've played Courtois a lot more. Yeah. Um, I've also used informed De Gea a fair bit. Never used Man of the Match Courtois, neither of which are being used here, I don't think. It's just the classic versions. Yeah. Um, oh, hello. Is he offside? Side? No, he's not. He's not inside. Um, not I think that, uh, based on the experience I've had, I go with Courtois. Yeah. He's not errorless, but he's probably the least error-prone goalkeeper I've used. Yeah, I mean, um, he's an 86 goalkeeper and he's very tall, and I think that's what makes a difference. Like, he's obviously got those longer arms and makes those... Well, seemingly impossible saves sometimes, same as Neuer, but Sturridge has gone for the chip, that was a bit optimistic. Yeah. 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 I mean, what's interesting to me is that one of the big headline grabbers when the game came out was that there was a 90-rated Manuel Neuer. Yeah. Such a high rating for a goalkeeper. But he's not been a fan favourite. He's not played at all in this tournament, I don't think, despite a lot of people using Boateng at the back, which you could have had chemistry with yeah. him. We've well, not seen him. Well, I remember when I was on FIFA 14 and, uh, like, ratings got uh, leaked for FIFA 15 and uh, even on the early game I saw that Neuer was 90 I was like right everyone's going to be going by Munich on this Neuer's going to be unstoppable but with just how unpredictable the goalkeepers are on this game it doesn't really justify his, uh, his rating a lot of the time but yeah no um, Courtois being four uh, inferior in terms of uh, overall rating, rating yeah. but, uh, but much more of a people's champion Manuel Neuer is very good at centre back though in real life <laughs> yeah, he basically a, plays for Bayern Munich. That sweeper um, role that he seems to play a lot more than his actual goal, go, um, goalkeeping Ross role. Goalie. Yeah, yeah. school. And now he wants to go and goal. Yeah. <laughs> That's Manuel Neuer. Here we go. 
Eden Hazard. He's uh, lost the ball here. Spencer's got it. His uh, company's cut it out there. Roberto Carlos, one of the legends that's made it to the final. It's good to see oh, legends in the final. It's a great ball for is Ronaldo. Control it? Oh, no, what defending oh. from Anua. And yeah. Nua versus Ronaldo. It's such a classic FIFA matchup. You just wouldn't see him on the same pitch in real life. Yeah, that's one of those moments where you don't quite know whether he's going to take a good touch. Um, sometimes he'll just get that out of his feet straight away. Um, the defenders might be able to get near him and it's a goal or... Di Maria. Uh, oh, unnecessary skill. I think he could have just hit that one more touch and uh, bang. Yeah, well, I know exactly what he does there. That's a, a popular school move that I like to use actually in that area. Well, it just does is uh, a lot of people will they'll just stand there and wait for you to run into them. But if you do that into them, a lot of the times they'll just block you off and it'll be a penalty or you'll just go straight through them. So uh, okay, okay. to be able to stop that, you have to read it and you have to be in control of that player waiting for it. And um, for Perry, he did exactly that. Half time in this first leg. And uh, if these guys' stories doesn't inspire you guys to get involved, on gfinity.net and try and qualify for one of our Play Like a Legend championships yourself. And I don't know what will, because this could be you. If you're watching now and you think you're good at Ultimate Team, it's, it's a, you can find out just how good you are. It's a pretty simple procedure. You play on there quite a lot, don't you, Dave? gfinity.net? Yeah, I play on there I'm, I'm, every week. I'm on there. Um, can, so I, they, might, they might end up against you. Yeah, they'll be up against Spencer or, uh, and um, Fair Perry a lot of the time. So it's Hello? Top, top oh. Website. oh, what a save. Wow, it's, uh, De uh, Courtois really playing well for Fair Perry here. Yeah, he's just to find that player of the tournament nomination that I've just put him up for. Yeah, he could be. Yeah, he's definitely up there. It's going to be him, Ronaldo, and probably Sturridge, I'd say. Um, yeah, definitely Sturridge after that goal we saw from yeah. Sean Allen. 40 yards, that was... Was that still, still your favourite goal? Yeah, look, but well, actually, I, I the kind really of, free kick was nice. It was, but I felt like the keeper should have saved that one. Uh, I like Sean Allen's other passing goal against, uh, yeah, 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 yeah against one. Rocky. I, I like that one quite a bit more because I just felt like there was a, a lot more skill involved in it. There was another goal that Sean Allen scored. Oh, oh hello, hello. That, oh, oh my gosh. God, I told you, Courtois is definitely player of the tournament. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely getting a man a match. Uh, orange Courtois off the back of this yeah. one. Yeah, he's not already he, got not, one actually. Not just Courtois, Fur Perry's Courtois. Yeah, like, specifically, yeah, yeah his. just that one. I don't know what Fair Perry said in his team talk to Courtois, but Courtois loves to play for him. He's a manager that yeah. gets the best out of his players. Definitely saying Vamos to him now, I can tell you that. Ronaldo, here we go. Is he going to strike it? He doesn't strike it oh. from distance quite as much as his training partner, uh, Huge Dragon. Yeah. Uh, he, he, he does tend to play it a little bit more, get it closer to the goal before he unleashes the strike. But um, very tense affair here. 56 minutes in, still 1-0 to Fair Perry. The next goal is going to be huge, but even at 2-0, you wouldn't count Spencer out. Interesting rugby tackle there, really. Yeah. I mean, I come up with a nice little line for uh, Fur Perry's win, um, winning match against uh, um, a huge dragon. Oh, please. Yeah, yeah, you ready for detail. it? Uh, yeah. Fur Perry's extin extinguished a uh, huge dragon's flame. Uh, yeah, you like messed up the delivery there. Yeah, the delivery wasn't quite there. Delivery's there, key. But, um, yeah. Yeah. Well, no, a decent attempt. Decent attempt. You know, I've got to see, I was, in a few weeks. I was we'll practicing it. I'm not going to lie. I was practicing it, and I'm a bit disappointed in that delivery. Yeah, I'm I practiced it in front of the mirror in the toilet, no doubt. Yeah, I was actually um, practicing with, with um, a huge dragon. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it just, was just I, a lot of sentiment behind it. Yeah, I, I'm not sure where he was quite happy with it, because obviously I was no. telling him that, yeah, you've just lost. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna blame my accent for that one. <laughs> yeah, I mean Lenny Henry pulls off though. Right, no. Here we go. Yeah, but well, he's Premier in adverts. I mean, he gets quite a few opportunities to try that. I was kind of on the spot then. I mean, if you keep doing what you're doing, I'm sure we'll see you on uh, Travel Lodge adverts in no time. Yeah, here I'm gonna go. keep you competing. Yeah. Di Maria into Sturridge, Sturridge to Ramirez, into Yaya Torre. There's a switch on. There's a switch on. He's played it. Can Fair Perry double his lead here? Eden Hazard. Back to Roberto Carlos, the legend, who's got ability to play balls and strike shots. Oh, there he is. Didn't his, need to do that. It's his famous little, um, that's his skill move, that is, when he, um, he'll throw a few step overs and like 90% of the time when someone does that to you, they'll cook straight in. Yeah. He delays it that one step further, but Spencer was wise to it then. He's oh, gonna Spencer's going to score. Oh, wait, 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 oh, it's whoa, not giving it. Whoa, it's whoa. Not whoa. Giving it. The referee. That's controversial. That is, that's Old Trafford, that is. That is yeah. why people are calling for more technology oh. in football. And it could be 2-0. Ronaldo, I mean, if he'd given a penalty for that, that would have been an <laughs> outrage. Yeah. I mean, Spencer's got to feel hard done by because he's created chances and he's just not found the back of the net. That is definitely an away team Old Trafford decision. I can't Goal. believe what I've just oh, seen. Oh, no! It is as well. It's two in! Nil. Wow! Spencer's 2-0 down. Listen, guys, as much as Fair Perry's doing well, this game is not over. I've said it time and time again. Spencer is the comeback kid, and uh, you know he can he can definitely come back in this game. Yeah. But you have to say that from what's happening in this game, Fair Perry, uh, not only is he 
uh, attacking efficiently. Yeah. He's benefit he's benefiting from an unbelievable goalkeeping performance and a little bit of help from the ref as well. Yeah, um, I've said so many times throughout this tournament, often goals will come on the counter-attack from when there's been a, mi a very good missed opportunity or an opportunity like that where he should have had a penalty. Uh, it's happened so many times and I'm pretty sure it's still going to happen. It's going to happen again at some point in this final. But um, yeah, Phil Perry's definitely in the driving seat now and he's, you know, he wants that revenge from that last spring Masters. And, um, oh, hello, Spencer. Great oh, defending. He, frustrating he, for Spencer as well to have that player on the line, he not wants to make to, it. Yeah, he wants to be that first play like a legend um, winner. And who can who can blame him? Yeah. I mean, this is a really like this. I mean, with obviously all the big Gfinity events are prestigious, and that it's really great to win them in terms of your standing in the community. But in terms of Ultimate Team, this has never been done before. This is the first of its kind, and you're always hello, hello. Okay, we're always going to be known as the original winner of a competitive Ultimate Team. Yeah, event. I know, and uh, no one can ever take that away from you. So he's kind of doing his, he's doing Spain parade as well. I mean, if you look at the competitors, there's a lot. There's a good uh, English representation, yes, or British, yeah. I say, there's French. Um, and there's a Dutch player and so on. But yeah, um, Fur Perry, he is the only Spanish player, so he's doing them proud right now. Hazard is causing them all, oh, all kinds of trouble here. Fur Perry, surely not. 3 0. Oh, no. well, see, Ronaldo was still on the edge then. I was waiting for him to just pull that back for him. Hazard was just, uh, it's like the ball, he had glue on his feet, or the ball was attached to his foot by some kind of string. He couldn't get it off him. It wasn't pretty uh, what he was doing, but it was effective. Yeah. Uh. Di Maria into Ronaldo. Now, Spencer needs to step yeah, up. Goal. This could be it. Goal. He's taking his time to shoot. Oh, it's oh, a goal. Wow. And this is it. This is the beginning of what we've seen so many times before. Spencer does not lay down and die. He never stops. And when there's breath in his body, he will fight to the end. Yeah, I'm not really sure how that defender didn't get the ball from that tackle. He kind of slid. The ball was there and then he just like no actually I'm, it's there but I might just leave it it looked like he'd waited too long and he could have actually hit that earlier oh he's um, in but, uh, but he, he got away with it and he, oh, I mean, surely not surely not this is what Spencer does he just turns it on for the crowd there's never a dull moment and I mean I'm not taking anything away from Fair Perry either his games are equally entertaining yeah. and that's why these guys make such a good final wow yeah. what is going on guys if you're watching uh, on the twitch stream let us know in the chats in the chat section uh, who you think is going to win this give us a hashtag team spencer or hashtag team fair perry uh, depending on where your allegiances lie rooney plays it through to robin it's good defending though from beckenbauer it's not easy to get around is he the german is that um, easy going to be in there it's an opportunity here for ronaldo He's going to fall to Sturridge. Oh, he's, he's in. For oh, no, he's, he's over-hit the pass. You know, I almost thought for a second, if we were watching Huge Dragon there, I think he would have banged it first time with Sturridge. It fell to him. Yeah, probably effort. would have flew in the top corner as well from what we've seen for him. It definitely could have. Can Spencer get a late goal? This is the first leg, guys, in the final. Don't forget, this is not all over. Uh, it's just the first leg. We've got another 90 minutes to come. Yeah, it's just... If, to be honest, if I was um, Fair Perry now, I'd just be playing it slow. Um, Take, like, taking that one goal advantage into the next game because obviously we know um, in the first half of game Spencer he's not you know he's not got his um, full strength team because he likes to bring on Ronaldo and Robin at half time but uh, yeah I'll def like, if he can see his Here's name Ronaldo. oh it's a is it a penalty? It's not. It's not the ref. No, I mean, it's full time. No, it's this talking. ref has uh, refused to give in to the crowd's uh, calls. But yeah. second game, probably going to get a new ref. Yeah, I think to be honest, I think that one was. Um, less of a shape because the player he's just about to kick the ball out anyway and if anything um, the attacker just ran and completely stopped him from doing that so uh, and I think that one was a penalty but the first the first um, shape was definitely a stonewaller final whistle has been blown in that first leg look at the exhaustion on these guys faces I mean yeah, yeah physically they're not running around like the virtual players playing for them but mentally they're doing catapults in there yeah not catapults somersaults whatever they're called you know what I'm catapults. talking about <laughs> not doing catapults yeah. it wouldn't make any sense um, We're doing the, yeah. the flip thingies. I know, mean, we, how long have we been here today, do you think, now? And a mental exhaustion on yeah, us. Is, yeah, is I know. He's clearly showing. I'm yeah. getting catapults and summer I mean, songs mixed up. It, it really is hard for those guys. It's not easy. Um, we've been playing since about... Um, been playing since about 10 o'clock? 10 o'clock this morning? I mean, we've, yeah, we've been around since ten, uh, just after 10, I think yeah, we started. Yeah, so um, they have been... They will be absolutely exhausted, but, you know, there's just one game left. Here we are in London, as you can see, uh, Piccadilly Circles, or Leicester Square even. Uh, no, that's Piccadilly Circus. I mean, there's lots of things yeah. in London. That's one of them. Come to London. Yeah. London tourism is available here in London. No, but seriously, you should come to uh, the Gfinity Arena here in London. It's a special place. Yeah, definitely. Dreams come true. Yeah, 
the question is, one of these. The question is whose dreams? Yeah. Is it going to be the dream of a young Spanish FIFA man who grew up on, a, I imagine, a farm somewhere with dreams of playing FIFA? Yeah. <laughs> or is it Spencer who grew up in, in Birmingham, the mean streets, <laughs> and he turned to FIFA <laughs> and um, he's turned his life around? Yeah. Amazing final here. 2-1 after the first leg. He's still going with Spencer. Uh, yeah, I can't change my mind now. To be you honest, can. if I could you have can. changed People my mind... People will judge you for it, but you can do it. Yeah, I can't be judged. Like... Okay. okay, I respect that. I mean, you're also a fellow uh, Brummie, is that right? No, I'm, I'm from Wolverhampton. I mean, is a, that yeah. not a... No. Okay, no, my there's, geography's there's not There's a little bit of a difference, yeah. They're obviously, sound similar, so... Yeah, I get, well, I get that a lot, but... Yeah. Okay. So uh, there's a rivalry, is there? I don't want to be from Birmingham, so... No, so if yeah. anything, you'd be more of a... I mean, it's still closer to Birmingham than Spain, though, let's face it. Oh, yeah, just a little bit, though. Okay, yeah. so we've got the teams coming up here. Uh, the second game is going to come underway any second. Don't forget to get your comments in on Twitch. Let us know what team you're supporting. Team Spencer or Team Fair Perry. Fair Perry is a 2-1 lead, but if you've watched any of today or any of Spencer's games in the past at a Gfinity event, you know that he is never out until the last second. I mean, let's remember what happened in Spencer's... Um, was it his uh, quarter, quarter, uh, semi-final uh, yesterday? when he was yeah. down 2-0 in a silver goal situation, which means at half-time, if you're down, you're out. Five minutes left. It was the 40th minute of that silver goal match. 2-0 down. He scored a goal in the 41st, I think, and the 44th, and then hit the bar in the 45th. Yeah. That would have been three goals in five minutes. Yeah, it was, He's got 90 minutes to score one goal. It was literally one of the best games of FIFA I've ever seen. It would have been the best comeback ever. But, you know, he needs to do it now. But, you know, he's got more than five um, game minutes to do it. But to be honest, if I could have changed my prediction before the game, I think I would have changed it to third parry purely because Spencer's a West Brom fan. I'm a Wolves <laughs> fan. I can't be having that. That's such a cop-out. You're saying, my prediction is Spencer. But if I could have done it before the game, I would have changed it. So yeah. then whatever happens, you predicted a winner. How convenient. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I think so, Perry's going to win, personally. I've one, always said that. I think I've one of them will win. We have to get a win. I think one will, so... Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. But like I said before, the real winner here is the audience who are seeing some spectacular <laughs> FIFA. Um, and, you know, if you're watching a Spencer game, and again, Fair Perry's game's always great as well, but if you're watching a Spencer game, it's never dull. I don't no. think I've ever seen a nil-nil with Spencer in it. No, I... Um, to be honest, in his last game against Dash, if there was anyone who could have stopped him scoring, I felt like it was going to be him. Yeah. And to be honest, he, re he nearly did. He was tuned all up, and um, he, uh, Spencer did his typical second-half comeback. But, um, yeah, he, as you said, he's just so good in attack, and I don't think anyone stopped him from scoring yet. No, and, I mean, if he scores in this game, he only needs to score one to level it up. It's more about him not letting uh, Fair Perry get a goal. Yeah. And this is Spencer here on the ball. Fingers. Oh. Beside that about um, Spencer, we don't think anyone's um, stopped him from scoring. And the same goes for Perry. I don't yeah. think anyone stopped him from scoring today either. Very true. That's why we've had, we've had goals in that first game and probably going to see some more here, I'd imagine. The question is, uh, how long will Spencer leave it if he doesn't score uh, before he changes things formation-wise? And uh, I mean, he never has a problem creating chances. Every game he plays, Spencer dominates yeah. the chance creation stat, you know often upwards of 10 shots per game which is quite quite rare for a competitive uh, situation You're usually seeing minimal chances in these matches yeah it is as well usually when two very top players play each other it's so close and uh, to be honest often it's just like a 1-0 or a 2-1 or something like that with barely any shots in the game but whenever Spence is playing doesn't matter who he's playing he usually racks up about seven or eight really really good chances Sturridge on the ball here for Fair Perry Ooh. is he going to make it through it's well defended Rooney it's a no, ball over for Willian. He's going to make that. The touch wasn't great, but he's got there. He's just gone over the bar there. Oh, that would have made it uh, two all. See, that's the difference between Spencer and just like a normal person on Ultimate Team. He spots those runs at the perfect time. A lot mm. of people, they would have passed that a second later where he would have been offside or a second too early when um, defender would have yeah, the it. defender would have just cleared it. Spencer plays him at the perfect time. So I think so I've just jinxed him. So, so, yeah. I'm, I'm do doing that a lot today. So much of FIFA is about timing that. Yeah, it is. Um, I was speaking to Chris Bailey earlier on the stream and we were saying uh, one, of the one of the key attributes for pro players, it's not like attacking or defending, it's timing. So it's, yeah, exactly. When you're watching these games, uh, we've talked about it before, it's particularly hard to really, sometimes unless you come and see these guys live or you uh, actually play one of them, it's, all, it's often hard to appreciate just how good a level this is. Yeah, it is. Um, because they're similarly talented. And like you say, most of the things they're doing 
most people can do. Yeah. It's not that they're doing stuff that can't be done, it's they're doing it so much quicker. It's very similar to real football, you know. Yeah. I'm sure a few of us guys, if we went, went in the uh, local park and took ages taking free kicks, trying to score them, we'd score a few really good ones. Yeah. The question is, can we do it when we've only got one chance with a crowd of people shouting against us, with the wall there, with the top quality goalkeeper in goal, change Zin. everything. He's going to... Oh, what a save oh, again. Oh, I thought give a oh, penalty. Oh, my word. What's happening here? Courtois, Courtois again, there he is. Finally, I'll tell you what, if Fair Perry wins this game, he can thank um, Courtois for that. Yeah. He's kept him in this in so many games. I mean, it's always a Belgian for me. Belgians are key. Yeah, they seem to have um, a really, really good talent pool at the moment. Yeah. Unbelievable. They seem to have been blossoming at the same time. I mean, we need to learn something from Belgium, yeah. in my opinion, considering the size of their country, the, the quality they've got at their disposal. It's I mean, unbelievable. I know I we're making changes to try and bring in... Uh, you know, bringing a new a new uh, wave of football talent in England, but it's going to take a while to, to even match a country like Burma. Uh, I think, wasn't it Bermondsey then? <laughs> I think mean, Belgium. Um, that's got, uh, you know, such a small uh, population in comparison to us. That's a good ball. Ronaldo, can he take it down? He, oh. he could make this, he could make this. Who's a newer getting that... Where's he get that speed from? <sighs> It's like he's, it's uh, I keep saying, it? he's, it's like he's got rockets on his boots. He should not be accelerating like that. Sturridge. Willian. Yes. Spencer. Oh. oh. That was a nice little well body play, but well defended again. He had three players on it. Yeah. I mean, it's that epic shot from real life with Messi got about five players around him. <laughs> I think half of them on the floor. Yeah. There was a similar moment there. I mean, I think that uh, Fair Perry's really controlling his marking quite well, the use of the extra player. But here is Sturridge. He can score here. Courtois again. He's not making it look pretty, but he's doing what he has yeah. to do. He's not always collecting it in two hands, but just getting something on it to just stop Spencer getting that um, all-important shot away. Yeah, he even took two boots in the chest then as well. Uh, Again, yeah, that, that through ball that Spencer saw, he, he timed it perfectly, and uh, unfortunately, he was just slightly over hit. But he's, he, Ooh, he's played, off the ball. We're going to get a free kick here. Yeah, he's going to be in a great area. He's got Ronaldo as well to take it with now. Oh, and oh. Roberto Carlos. He's going to strike at Roberto Carlos. We've got a legend on this. Roberto Carlos. That Ooh, was going in, yeah. guys. That was going in. It was a stopped on the line from a. Wow, great placement from the uh, defender by Spencer there. Yeah, that's a problem with that long run-up that Roberto Carlos's guy gives your opponent time to get a player on the line. If that was like, if that was someone else sitting out of a normal run-up, I don't think he would have got there in time. Here we go, Sherlock on the ball for Spencer. It's almost half time in the second leg of the final. He's, he's two one down on aggregate. This is probably the longest we've seen Spencer down for. Oh, but here he we go. About to score! Oh my God! As I say it. He scores. I mean, I was just pointing out the fact that this is the longest he's been behind for because he does always come back. That's an interesting finish there, outside of the boot, down the middle. Probably the only place that he could have put it there and scored because Courtois made himself big uh, across the goal, kind of low and, and uh, wide. Yeah, I'm surprised that he's even scored that at all, especially with Courtois and the form he's been in. But, yeah, back in the game now, um, Fer Perry's got it all to do again. Great to see Ramirez get himself a goal in a big uh, game like this as well because he's been a great servant to a lot of people's teams today yeah and he works yes. so hard box to box in there he deserves a little bit of the limelight yeah he's definitely the, the unsung hero of most teams that we've seen today now when spencer usually gets his comeback going he doesn't stop with one yeah so i do not I, be surprised if he gets another one yeah i said that earlier when he whenever he starts scoring he builds so much momentum it's rare that he, he stops he just keeps going and going and going Fair Perry, it's been again. a while since Fair Perry last scored. Yeah. So he needs to uh, get back in the attacking rhythm. He's been kind of, oh, wow, 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 wow. It's a free kick to, no, it's, oh. a, it's a free kick to Fair Perry. Yeah, it's been a while since we saw um, Fair Perry really be on the front foot. He's been kind of holding Spencer off for a while. We need to change that now. Oh, he's in, uh, going to be in trouble here. It's the Spencer. storage in the middle. Could it be goal time? Oh, oh he's no! Missed. It's gone wide. And you know what? In the second half, he wouldn't have missed that. Yes. That would have been Ronaldo yeah, instead. Exactly. He was on his right foot as well. Wow, it's all about what side of the whistle that chance fell to him. And it was before the half-time whistle, so he had no Ronaldo. The thing is, you've got to be fancying um, Spencer now as well with the like, players he's about to bring on. True, true. And I mean, also, like that's the thing, isn't it? As much as uh, Spencer's been able to bring on Ronaldo in a fresher way against more tired legs at half-time. Yeah. Fair Perry's had Ronaldo for 90 minutes every time, so double the exposure to someone of Ronaldo's talent. It is, but it's also double the time to score a goal with him. Exactly what I'm yeah. talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it works both ways. Yeah, it does. More time with the great player. Yeah. I think Spencer would have scored that with Ronaldo. Yeah. But also, he gets a, Spencer gets a more effective Ronaldo because he gets a fresher Ronaldo. So it works both ways, and uh, it's honestly each to their own, whatever they, the way they want to do it, whatever way works for their own kind of chemistry philosophy. And a few little changes here. We're going to st jump straight back into the action. It is 2-all here in the Gfinity live final. 
of the Play Like a Legend Championships presented by Xbox One. And uh, what a championships has been. The first inaugural championships. We've got season two and season three coming up in the oh, next few months, as well as the grand final in August. But if the rest of them are anywhere near as exciting as this, then we're going to see some top quality FIFA over the next few months. And we're going to uncover some hidden gems Ronaldo's in the Ultimate in. Team community. Oh, good defending. He had to make that challenge. If he didn't make that, Ronaldo should have run straight past him and scored. I mean, fair, like, we, we keep saying that Spencer's got a really good team bringing on Ronaldo, Robin, and Simon at half time. But um, Fair Perry's also got a very, very strong bench, and he doesn't even need it, to be honest. I mean, if. Oh, whoa. Spencer's through. Spencer's through. Where's he going with Robin? It's going to be a goal! Ronaldo! Spencer puts that finger in the air, celebrating, and uh, the comeback kid strikes again. Yeah, that was so, like, he was so well worked. So great composure, not to just like, I don't know, try and force a cross in the box or a cutback straight away, turn back, um, create a better passing opportunity for himself, and then he finds himself in the lead. Unbelievable stuff. I mean, I say unbelievable, but it's really not. It's very believable because it's what he does. Oh, great ball oh. in. It's going to be a goal. Oh, what a game! Is. What a game! The crowd have gone wild here. It is, what is that, four or three or? I'm not sure. Uh, he's equalised it. I think he might have made it. Um, it's, it's level. It's level yeah, here. It is. And uh, that was a great ball. Wow, these two just seem so equally matched. Yeah, they are, but see, now we uh, Well, this game's uh, opened up, though, big time. The addition of Robin and Ronaldo have changed things up. It is three all. Robin's score. not giving it up. Ronaldo! So lucky. Three goals in the space of about three minutes, guys. Now that, I mean, Robin was lucky, not lucky, but he persevered to get that ball back. Yeah, I think, no, I think that was a bit of luck, to be honest. Usually, the defender would have just got that away. I feel, I feel for Perry a bit there. <laughs> I was just about to say, usually when uh, Spencer scores, he builds momentum, but now um, as, as Perry um, scored, let's see if he can build his own momentum. But, uh, right, Carlos, yes, Ronaldo. Spencer stopped that before it could even happen. At half-time, let's remind ourselves, at half-time, Spencer was down. Yeah, yeah, he, he was losing. Now he's winning, and he's been, made himself be winning in two different situations here after uh, Fair Perry got that equaliser. Yeah. He just scores goals for fun, this guy. Whoa. Oh, I mean, Fair Perry needs to defend better than that, especially now Robin he's and... He's getting so unlucky in defence. Robin like and Ronaldo these, on the pitch, you yeah, can't do that. These little things that are happening, he's going to be... Hello. He's in. Goal. Can Ronaldo get across? He's got three defenders between him and the goal and the goalkeeper. Is that enough to stop this guy? Oh. Look at him go. Oh, oh wow, what a tackle. Him. Shot. Oh, oh no. Handball. <laughs> Fair Perry's starting to see some of the, uh, the difficulties in front of the goal that Spencer experienced in that first leg when he encountered a, a Courtois who was just in Gandalf mode. <laughs> Thou yeah. shalt not pass. Corner's coming in here. Are we going to see a header on it? Yes! Yeah. Oh. No, straight in the hands of De Gea there. See, Spencer's not the type of player who will, he'll, who will keep the ball when they're winning and see the game, mate. He's just, that's not the way his mind works. He's just attack, attack, attack. Here we go, Daniel Sturridge of Fair Perry. Neymar. You're going to get that in. Is he going to cut back? Ronaldo's in there, cut cross back it. To Daniel Sturridge. Oh, no. That's a poor ball. I'm surprised Sturridge plays the 90 for Fair Perry. I'm uh, he doesn't get someone else in. Oh, no, that's OK. Yeah, well, he, maybe he'll change it later on. But um, I'm surprised he didn't cross it there. When you got Ronaldo in the box, I know um, heading isn't a big part of this game, but he's just with Ronaldo, you just never know. There's a... Uh, oh, I mean, it's going to... Oh, the keeper's going to get that. Get it. It's got... Oh. oh, no, no, no. Be careful there. It's going to be very uh, hard for Fair Perry to stomach oh. another final defeat to Spencer if it stays like this. Yeah. But then again, he... That being said, he at least he can say, do you know what? I lost to the winner. He lost to the winner. I mean, well, that's usually how it works in the final. Yeah. But um, he did win the first yeah. leg. So obviously, he's actually had a win against Spencer. He actually had yeah. two wins against Spencer because he beat him in the group. Yeah, I mean, obviously, he's not going to... Um, He's not going to want to keep saying, no, but, well, I lost to the winner. Well, I lost to the winner. He doesn't want to say that. But He's uh, also going to be able to say that he beat the winner, which is an annoying thing. Yeah. He actually beat him earlier on, so it's annoying that he yeah. wasn't the other way around. Spencer chooses the right time to lose, it seems. Yeah, but if... if um, oh, hello. Wow. That was straight out of World Cup 98. Blanco, <laughs> wasn't it? That was ridiculous. But if, um, if Spencer does go on to win this... It's going to be a carbon copy of yesterday because he finished second in his group and so did Brian yesterday. Hello, Fair Perry though. Oh, I think he could have oh. turned in and scored there. Was he given? Well, someone offside. was offside. I yeah. think it must have been Ronaldo. Okay, maybe that's why he did the pass because he knew he was offside. Well, 15 minutes left, guys. Again, on Twitch, let us know who you're supporting. Since we last asked you, the tables have turned. Spencer's taken the lead. Those of you that were hashtagging Team Spencer in the Twitch chat will... Um, We'll be very happy with that one. Hashtag Team Fair Perry. Uh, those of you that represent that squadron will not be too happy. 
but it's still time for him to get a goal back. He's making moves here. He's doing things that are leading to opportunities. He just needs to get a clear-cut one in his last sort of 15 minutes, including injury time. Here's Eden Hazard for Fair Perry. It's a good tackle. He Ramirez. Needs, yeah, yeah, I think Perry needs to change something up quick. He's only got 10 minutes left. Is he going to get Sturridge off of someone? This could be an opportunity for Marco Royce. The great first touch. He's going to cut in. I think he might score. No, the goalkeeper. He's got a hole in his chest. Yeah, he's um, he's done so well throughout this tournament, Courtois, but he's let him down when he when, when he needed him most. Uh, Spencer is, at him. is an absolute joy to watch. He is. Everyone watching at home and here in the Gfinity Arena, count yourself lucky. You're witnessing the Muhammad Ali of FIFA. <laughs> Hit him on the face on the way through, but um, Perry's, he's, you know, this task is now it's pretty much impossible to score two in ten minutes against Spencer without him scoring as well. Yeah. He's got to go so attacking against someone that's so good at attacking that it's just a risky, it's a risky manoeuvre, but he has to do it. Otherwise, he's not going to get these two goals. And uh, as things stand, it's 5-3. I, I said to you before, and I knew you, you knew this, but um, there was going to be goals in this final. Yeah. And we've not been disappointed. Eight goals across the, the two legs. These guys are such a good final to watch. Not the first time we've seen them in a final, probably not the last. And uh, if Spencer does go on to win this, then you have to say worthy winner because when he needs to win and he's playing against people that are, you know, on form, yeah. he delivers. Well, even, if it, even if he's coming back. Yeah, well, down. whoever wins is going to be a, a worthy winner. Like you said yeah. earlier on in the stream, like whoever wins it, they're not going to be lucky because to have, have got that far against the quality of players that are on show, you, you know, that's not luck. No, of course yeah, not. So. Of course not. What I like about both these guys, though, I and mean, why I think they were a good final, is they, they, they play a really nice brand of football. Yeah, they do. They, they, they play really nice attacking football. It's good to watch. And um, it's been even, even better to watch, to watch here. But, yeah, overall, it is 5-3 to Spencer. And <laughs> Looks like he's going to take yeah. the trophy. I mean, some of you guys need to get onto gfinite.net to play these guys because um, until you actually have a match with these guys, you can't really properly understand how fast they play the game but like these passes how quickly they're doing it the, the split second they make the decisions in uh, to the to the human eye it's almost not noticeable how much quicker it is but when you play against it you see yeah they, they just don't take a second to make a decision they don't loiter on the ball but they're always two steps ahead of themselves that they never like they never play a pass and then wait for them to receive it and then make a new decision now they've, they've always got a plan like two or three steps ahead of what they want to do so uh Ronaldo takes it down, the touch was uh, into the yeah. defender's path. This whistle's coming, guys, and you know what that whistle means? It means that Spencer, a.k.a. the huge gorilla, is going to be the inaugural FIFA Play Like a Legend Championships. And there it is. Presented by Xbox One, and there it is. Where the fire, the fireworks, I don't know, there should be. There's lights everywhere. Spencer is the champion. Uh, congratulations to Fair Perry, though. You've got to say, this guy was... A worthy runner-up. Yeah, uh, definitely. On another day, it could have been his, but a huge gorilla is our season one champion. And what a tournament he's had. There's the trophy there in his hands. He's, he lifts it to the sky. It's like, he, <laughs> it's like Bobby Moore all over again. <laughs> well done, Spencer. Well done. He's got the check there uh, for a whopping $4,000. Yeah. And it's not just that he takes home, guys. He's got, um, he's got a brand new fresh a uh, Roy Keane legend yeah available for uh, for him an ultimate team he's got 20,000 FIFA points along with that $4,000 he's got a year subscription to EA access and of course he automatically qualifies for the season for the uh, grand final yeah. in August so we know who one of our finalists is going to be it's going to be Spencer yeah I mean where his champion he did so well I mean he He's needed to come back in pretty much most of his games today. So, and to lose to Fur Perry in the first game of the of the day, and then to come back and beat him in the final, you know, it just shows absolutely it shows his character. And for such a young player who's you know he's inexperienced, he's only his, his uh, second tournament. You know, it's a great example for the people back home. It also shows just how tight the differences are between these competitors because, like you say, he lost to Fur Perry today, yeah. a few hours ago. He lost. It was quite a few hours ago now. To yeah, I've been here a while. But he lost to Fair Perry, and uh, but he, he knew he backed himself and he yeah. delivered in the final, in the big game. Not for the first time be beating Fair Perry in a in a final. And I do feel sorry for the Spaniard uh, because he's put up a great performance. Not for the first time. Both times I've seen him play at uh, the two Gfinity events, he has played a really attacking, expansive brand of football. So serious uh, kudos to Fair Perry, and I'm sure he's made a lot of waves on the scene. 
but the last word has to be had for uh, for Spencer. Unbelievable tournament, and I think if we learn anything, is that people called Spencer are amazing at FIFA. <laughs> Take that away with you. Think what you what you want to about that. But Dave, wrap up the tournament for us. Uh, what are your main thoughts? Uh, it just it's hard to say really because I feel sorry for Fur Perry, but to be honest. Spencer has just done so well. To lose his first game of the day, and I've, I've been saying like, throughout this weekend how important that first game of the day actually is. It's yeah. set short for the rest of the tournament. So to lose that first game, come back, and uh, to come back from behind as many times as he actually did to then go on and win the final, it's just been absolutely brilliant. Guys, remember, this could be you. Get to gfinity.net, and uh, if you don't want to play, if you don't register on there to play, then you should come and watch gfinity.net forward slash tickets is where you want to go to find out when our next events are here at the London Arena. You can watch it and you can see the whole event uh, up front and uh, in all its glory. Thank you very much for watching over the weekend, guys. It's been two days of sensational FIFA and uh, I think, well, we've all enjoyed it a lot. As I say, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out gfinity for the future events and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.